Hi and welcome to MRTV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the HP Reverb G2 together with the Valve Index controllers. Yes, it works and it works really well. I'm going to show you what exactly you need. I'm going to show you each and every single step to make this happen. So absolutely stay tuned because all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back again to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of all the VR headsets and I'm bringing you tutorials just like this one. So absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Right now I've installed the first base station here and I told you I'm going to show you every single step. This is a base station 2.0 but you can also use the base station of the 1.0 kind. Simply put the first one into one corner of your room and now for the second one put it diagonally at the other side of the room facing the first base station and I'm going to put it here onto this display cabinet. So simply put it there and also connect it to the next power outlet. I'm doing that right now and that's it already. It's actually really simple. It's not as complicated as many of you are thinking it is. Now you gotta install two pieces of software. One is called OpenVR Space Calibrator. And well, the link is down in the description of this video. Simply go to the latest release, download it as I do it here right now, and then simply open it. And well, then you have to click on Run Anyways. Now this was the, the German version. You're going to have there Run Anyways. Now, while we're installing this, a big shout out to Reddit user Pumpkin Spice Truck Nuts, who has posted this tutorial that I'm following. Also, big thanks to Joe Cool for sending me that tutorial. The second piece of software is called OpenVR Advanced Settings. Also, the link is in the description below. Simply download the latest release like I do here now. And just like before, it's downloading, then open that file. And in order to run it, you have to click on Run Anyways. So just like before, do it now, <laughs> like what I do here now. And well, you have it in your language, of course. All right, after you have installed it and installing this right now, we're actually done with all the software installments. That's really everything we needed to do. And we're getting closer to the main course here. This is what you will also need. You will need two dongles, either from the Steam controller or from the Vive trackers. Now that's really important. You can't use any Bluetooth dongles. You need these dongles. So the Vive Tracker ones that I'm using here, they will work out of the box. If you're using the dongles from the Steam controllers, there's one more step. You will need to flash something onto them. And well, I have a link down in the description how that works. So plug in both of the dongles and one of the dongles should be connected via an extender like I do here. So there won't be any interference. Then on your computer, you will see that the devices are being set up and then you will see that the Watchman dongle is set up and ready to go. Next, you connect your G2 and also your G2 controllers. Make sure that everything works simply in the Windows environment. And well, then we're ready for the next step. By the way, this will also work for other Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So this is really cool. In the next step, we start Steam VR. And as you can hear in the background, we're changing from the Windows Mixed Reality environment to the Steam VR home environment. And I had to click away some notification and that's no problem at all. Now you have to disconnect one of the dongles. I'm choosing this dongle here, simply disconnect it. That's really important. Don't forget it. And uh, well, now we open the Steam VR hamburger menu here. We go to devices and pair controller. And here we choose Valve Index controller, of course. But before we do that, well, get the Valve Index controllers out of the box here. I got some new ones here that I'm using here and click on Valve Index controllers. And now you have to push on the two buttons that are highlighted at the same time. I'm showing this to you here. Exactly push them long. And then it's going to change to green. And this means, yes, we have paired this controller successfully. And as you can tell, all of this is really simple and it will stay as simple as this. Now you have to unplug the dongle which was plugged in 
and you have to replug the other dongle that you took out before. Really important step. Also, if you do not want to get the trackers or that Steam controller to get those dongles, you can also buy them from a company called Virtual Builds for $50 a piece. Now we can pair the other controllers. So go to the same menu, again, click on pair controller, and well, now you click on pair another controller here. Once you've done that, now you'll click on the Valve Index controller again. And just like before, you have to push these two buttons at the same time and then they will pair with the computer. And as you can tell, the LED changed to green and you're good to go. Click on done. And now we're done with that. In the next step, replug the dongle that you have just unplugged so that now both dongles are connected to your computer. Now you can also turn on the other controller and now both of your controllers, as you can tell now, show the green LED and that means both are connected now to your computer. Congratulations. In Steam VR now, on the Steam VR overlay with your G2 controllers, click on Space Cal. There are now two more buttons in your Steam VR overlay. On the left, you see now the Windows Mixed Reality controllers, and on the right, you see the Knuckle controllers. I'm going to start pairing the left controllers. Therefore, I choose the Knuckle controllers here on the right, and on the left, one of those two controllers. And I click on Identify Selected Devices to find out if I chose the right Windows Mixed Reality controller. Also, I click on Slow with the calibration speed. Now I put the left Index controllers onto my left hand and I put it on the strap just like this. Exactly, so it's connected to your hand. And into the same hand, I put the Windows Mixed Reality controller, the G2 controller, just like that. Now I click on Start Calibration. This is going to happen in a moment. Give me a moment here. And once I do that, the calibration process will start. So now, and what I have to do now, I have to move the left hand around, just like I do here. And well, I would suggest you that you turn in circles and then wave the control around, just like I do so. And in this process, now what happens, different kind of points are matched with the other controller and like this, they are being calibrated. And once you finished, the index controller will snap onto the other controller and now the left controller is calibrated. Click on done now and now we can do that same thing with the other controller. And as you can tell, the left index controller already perfectly gets tracked here. So now let's deal with the right Index controller. Simply choose the other controllers now here in the menu and also identify them if you want to by clicking on this identify button. They will vibrate then and then take the right Index controller, connect it with your right hand just like this. Exactly. And well, put the right Mixed Reality controller into the right hand as well. Just like before. And now click on Start again. Start Calibration. Yes. And here we go again. Wave the controllers around, move around, turn around. Just give those controllers lots of yeah points to calibrate them. And as you can tell, these bars, they get full, these two bars, and then once they are both full, then it means like the calibration process is finished. And that's the case now. The right controller is snapped onto the other one and you can click on done here and then you're done. Now, the next thing you can do is click on copy chaperone bounce and that's everything you need to do. You're done. Congratulations. Thumbs up. Now close Steam VR and also like turn off all of your controllers. Then start the Index controllers and Steam VR should automatically start. And well, it does. In my case, at least. Now the moment of truth. Does it work? And 
Yes, here they are. What a great feeling that it actually works. It works actually perfectly. It's just as using the Valve Index with the Index Controllers, but I'm using it with the G2. So this is pretty amazing. I can use any kind of games now. I have the perfect tracking with the perfect display. It's a match made in heaven. Let's try this out with Beat Saber. And yes, it works perfectly, really perfectly, just as if I would be using the Valve Index Controller with the Valve Index. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever so if the inside out tracking of the g2 of any other windows mixed reality headset is not good enough for you well simply upgrade to the index controllers and have the perfect tracking anyways as i have shown you in other videos before the g2 tracking itself is already good enough for i think most of you but if somebody really needs the lighthouse tracking well now you can have it so if this was your one reason not to pre-order, I believe that now you can pre-order. And again, in my opinion, you should pre-order. This is easily the best looking VR headset on the market right now. It trumps all of the others. And yeah, well, if you pre-order this right now, you will get it in fall 2020. And if you really don't like it, you can still sell it. I'm sure there will be a big market for this. And now we're here in Blade and Sorcery. In front of the mirror, I just want to show you how nicely everything works and well, your hands are tracked behind your back. This is Lighthouse Tracking, the best tracking that is on the market. By the way, if you're wondering if you have to do the calibration every time you start SteamVR, no. You simply start SteamVR now and everything will work out of the box. Also, if you're wondering what kind of base stations you will need, you can use base stations of the 2.0 kind like I do here right now, or you can also use the old base stations of the 1.0 kind, no problem whatsoever. Now I would also like to show you how well the finger tracking works. So if you love VR chat, now you can, well, also with the G2, tell people what you think about them by showing them what you think about them. So everything is good again here. And well, that's it for this tutorial. Now I want to hear from you. Will you pre-order the G2? What do you think about this tutorial? Is it simple enough? Or do you have any more questions? If yes, do also put them down in the comment section of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, then absolutely do so now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.